friends welcome back to my channel tonight I am going to do my September wrap-up um, and honestly all of these books were either books I had borrowed or books from the library or audiobooks so I don't have anything physical to show you so I'll pop up some pictures um, the first one I read was a nonfiction called proximity principle and it was like how you need to get in contact with people who do what you want to do. So if you want to be, the guy in the book was a broadcaster. So since he wanted to be a broadcaster, he made peers of broadcasters. He mentored through broadcasters. Um, he used his friends to find routes that would work to get him to his dream job. I, I really liked the book. Um, I think he did a really good job. It was by Ken Coleman. He does have a podcast as well. So if you are looking for some job inspiration or just general life inspiration, that one was really good nonfiction, especially if you're going to go for a nonfiction November. Um, the next one I read was Frankly in Love. And I just feel like I am not in the majority with this one. I know like I've been seeing so many people that have loved it. And honestly, I just, it was okay. It was just okay. Like, I gave it three stars. Um, like, I, I really thought I was going into, like, a romance situation, and that, to me, wasn't the main part of the book. And so I think if I had a different mindset, I would have probably liked it better. I went into it thinking that it was going to be this kid who was kind of nerdy, who falls in love, and it was more about, like... Asian American influences and prejudice of his parents and racism and um, just growing up in that environment, which I totally thought that was super interesting. Like the whole Korean American situation was really interesting. Um, but I think I just was in such a mindset that I wasn't expecting that. So I didn't rate it as highly as um, some other people had done. And the next one was um, back into my Harry Potter audiobook situation. So I went through The Goblet of Fire, The Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban. So in backwards order. But so I got through two, three, and four of Harry Potter. Um, once again, I just, I love them. Jim Dale does such an amazing job. He brings all the characters to life. Um, so I've really been enjoying binging that series. So I got through those three in September. So I may be able to finish the last, well, because I finished five in October, so I'll probably finish six and seven in October as well, or early fall anyway. Um, the next one I read was The Princess and, a Fan, and the Fangirl, which is the second in the like Once Upon a Con series. I really liked Geekerella. I just, I was in the right mood for it. It was perfect for the road trip we were on. Um, I love the characters and the story. I loved the, um, the underlying movie that was made from, it was kind of like a Star Wars kind of a situation. Um, but now I can't even remember what it's called. Of course not. But, um, it was really cute. I really liked that one, but I struggled through The Princess and the Fran Fangirl. Um, I gave it three stars, so it was still a good read, but it just wasn't everything I had wanted it to be. Um, I think I just really loved those initial characters a lot. Um, the Princess and the Fangirl was more, like, switching places, um, and then Geekerella obviously was Cinderella. So I did give that one three stars, so I still enjoyed it, but I'm excited to see where the rest of the series goes. Um, the next one I loved was Lock Every Door. It was so freaking creepy and it took some turns which I really enjoyed um you thought it was gonna go one direction and I actually would have really liked if it had gone that direction because I'm totally into I don't want to spoil it so I'm totally into things that go that direction um but then it kind of came back around and got all crazy it was still good it definitely kept me thinking and had that spooky vibe so it was a really good read I really enjoyed it and I've heard his other books are super good too, so I'm excited to try those out. I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, the next one was Murder Trending, and holy potatoes, was i not at all sure where that one was going to go. Uh, 
I had seen some reviews, especially because the second book in the series had just come out, and I was interested, especially the cover was so cool. And so I picked it up, and I was instantly hooked, because, like, they go to this, like, people are convicted of crimes that they all say they didn't actually commit, and they're sent to Azkaban to, or Azkaban, <laughs> oh, jeez, too much Harry Potter, um, Alcatraz, oh, jeez, <laughs> that took me far too long. They are sent to Alcatraz 2.0, and essentially all of Alcatraz is wired up and so everybody can see what you're doing all day every day um it's all live streamed on through apps and then there's these killers who take on these roles of like one of them was the design like he loved gucci i think it was the gucci hangman maybe and he would wear all this like designer clothing and have like designer nooses and stuff and kill these convicted killers and people were behind all of these um, like the murder jailers they would root for them to kill these people that were in Alcatraz 2.0 and then on top of that they were forced to live lives during their time in Al Alcatraz I still want to say Azkaban Alcatraz and they like have to work daily jobs to get food and some of them even are made to have pretend relationships. And on top of this, there's this whole weaving story within it that comes to light. Um, so I'm really excited to see where the story goes. I gave uh, Murder Trending four stars because I thought it was just so unique and interesting. So I'm super excited to see where the next book goes. I have had it on hold at the library for a while until they get in a copy, but I'm excited to grab it. Um, the next one I loved was The Simple Wild. I read it or I listened to it and it was just such the cutest like love to hate trope romance and it was just so cute it was a, and a, like the Alaskan wilderness but it was like outside of Anchorage Alaska wilderness where like you can't really go to the grocery store and everything's super expensive and it takes a city girl and she goes up to Alaska for a few weeks and I, I don't necessarily think she was like stuck up or anything, but she was used to her coffee with soy milk and um, just her normal food and her normal day and not driving because she lives in a big city and doesn't need to drive. And so it's a lot of culture shock in this new world. And I just, I thought it was so cute. And the boys in the book were just so cute. So. I think it would be an amazing movie. I'm definitely excited to read some more K.A. Tucker. I actually like put one on my scribd um, for right away when I'm done with all my spooky reads in November because I think it'll be a great way to ease into um, November reads and out of the spooky reads. The next one I read was Again But Better and it was so much fun. Um, it was quirky and interesting I love like it was a girl that kind of made up a story to her parents so that she could go to uh, a study abroad program and she wants to be a writer but her parents definitely want her to be a doctor and she just kind of has to figure out how to rediscover who she is and get out of her shell so I really liked it um, they had just a lot of fun witty references she called her notebooks horror cruxes which I freaking loved and I thought it was just such a good easy read and then the last one I read out of my 11 books for September, so yay me, was The Lifeboat Click. And honestly, I don't know why I finished it. Um, I just wasn't into the story. I wasn't into the characters. Um, I just felt like it was a really young YA book. Um, like, it didn't really have any hard-getting topics. Like, these girls have a fight, but you don't really know what's going on, and... I think I, that's the reason I kept reading it is because I wanted to know what went on but they're in the middle of a storm and they get swept out in a boat and people just die and they're kind of like oh well they're dead. <laughs> I don't know I just thought it w the progression was weird the character development was slow for me uh, I did finish it but I only gave it two stars so those were my September reads I I had a pretty good month quite a few five and four stars so that's always good um, so I'm excited to see how many I can get through in October because I continually get 
more and more and more that I want to read. I just, I need to have a job where I can read all day. Anyway, have a good night.